All right, we're back with Mike Farrell at the Forest Farmers Operation in Marshfield, Vermont, and we're in birch season. Birch sap's a little different than maple sap, right, Mike? So explain it a little bit to us. For sure. So uh, we start collecting birch sap towards the end of maple season, um, and then it goes for another week to two weeks after maple season ends. <clears throat> Here's sap coming coming in right now. You can see how foamy it is. This is a week after three 70 degree days in a row. So that's what basically ended the maple season for us and lots of other people, but then birch keeps going. So now you're trying to collect sap when it's much warmer out. You've been dealing with uh, all the bacteria and yeast issues that will cause your maple season to be over. So it's, it's a lot more challenging to deal with. Um, the sugar content's a lot lower. I just took a sample here. See what uh, what it comes out at. Yesterday was 0.7. Today actually 0.8. So I'm 0.7. These things are only so accurate, but it's, it means it's holding steady, and that's a pretty decent sugar content for birch. You know, oftentimes for us it'll be as low as about 0.5, um, and we've seen it as high as about 1.1 1 .1, uh, for our highest bricks here. Okay, so explain what you're doing now in this step with your sap before it hits the evaporator. So we're using our ultra filtration machine. This is a, a concentrate tank here. See, we have concentrate coming in. And you can see it's pretty cloudy. It's, uh, it's got a lot of bacteria and yeast in the concentrate. Because when you put sap through the RO, you're not just concentrating the sugars, you're also concentrating the bacteria and the yeast. We have pretty cloudy concentrate. And we're putting it through ultra filtration. The machine right on the other side of this tank, there's two outputs from there as well. There's a permeate and a concentrate. The concentrate you can see is cloudy, just like the concentrate of sap coming in. And then look at your permeate here, it's crystal clear. Okay, normally that would go in for our other concentrate tank. I just have it here for visual purposes. But we separate it out where we, we take our concentrate tank of bird sap, put it through ultra filtration. The, the stuff that doesn't get ultra filtered comes right back in to get tried again. And then the, the output, the crystal clear concentrate that's devoid of any bacteria or yeast goes to our other concentrate tank that we feed the evaporator. You know, explain what's going on here. We're waiting for everything to get to a certain point. Yeah. Uh, the screen here shows you, there's the process value, there's the probe right by the draw. We have it set at 222 because Birch has a higher temperature at which it draws off to be 66 bricks. It's because of the different types of sugars, a uh, lot more glucose and fructose in Birch compared to sucrose and maple. So you get, uh, the noises you keep on hearing are valves opening and closing, they're pneumatic valves. Um, when the probes say I need more sap, they open up or whatever. And when they have enough, they close. So you constantly, when you're making syrup on this evaporator, you hear that open, close, where it's keeping the right level right by the edge of the probe. And just to explain just the basics, we're boiling the steam today. Yeah, this is uh, an R7 steam evaporator from CDL. We're just actually using the, the right hand side of it. This is. Um, it's a seven by 10, but we're only using one half of it right now because this, this evaporator can boil off way more than we need to for the amount of sap that we have. So we're just using half of it at the moment. It's got steam coils inside there <clears throat> at the level of zero. That's the top of the steam coils. And you can see we're starting to get some red color to our concentrated sap at this point. Um, whereas up on the steam fan above, you can see how crystal clear the concentrate is. That's the stuff that went through ultra filtration that we showed you earlier. And um, that gets pumped in from the concentrate tank in the basement. Okay, so we finally got a draw. Tell us about, tell us about the syrup once it's coming out. So you can see how it's really darkish red. This is uh, a later season birch 
made on steam. In the beginning of the season, it's still red, but not nearly as dark. Um, and you know, now that it's coming, it's essentially a continuous draw, staying about that same 222 temperature. I'll watch that. I overrode the uh, automatic draw off to get it to start to come. I want to see some movement. Uh, and the level is starting to come down. We're below the steam coils everywhere. You see the color of there on that site level versus what's coming out here. How much you can darken in that last bit. You get from almost syrup right there when it finally comes off the syrup here.